Well, I hear Jennifer pulling up right now. I was going to try to leave this on there for it to keep warm, but I hear her. So that's a good deal. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the outpost. Um, as you can hear, it's raining again. I think it rained all night long. It's but, poofy hair time in Tennessee. But the good thing is we've got the roof on the outdoor kitchen. It's dry in here. Uh, as you've seen in the last episode, we got the cabinets put in. Uh, we got the handrail up, but I stopped and I got some hinges and some handles. So I will be putting those on today. Uh, since it's raining, see, I told you I would be able to do some little projects in here, so that's kind of nice. And then another thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and whack those posts off where the earthen oven's going to be and go ahead and kind of maybe set and build that base. But anyway, we've got eggs, sausage, tomato, and I've got a bit of a bagel. So let me go ahead and get this tomato cut up. Okay, can I tell you something? My husband knows, but no one else here at the table knows. Schools are out until September 8th. You so guess what? That means more me. Honestly. I didn't go to school till September 8th when I was going to school and I don't know what all this is up about starting the 1st of August, honestly. Um, it's nuts okay. because it doesn't give kids enough time to get a job and work during the summertime and make enough money to buy their own clothes and to buy their own uh, way through school when it does start just like we had to do when we were kids. And we were still out before the end of May. Um, I'm okay. not really sure what it's all about but um, seems like I don't know. But Landon, you don't go to school. Time, times are changing. Anyway, let me show you what we got for breakfast right here. Okay, what I'm going to do is I bought these really nice hinges um, that I figured would be uh, good for the door. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and mount these on here. And let's see. Probably like that. So what I want to do is take and kind of pre-drill these things. It would be really nice to have this countertop with cabinets because I'm used to keeping everything in totes. like I have forgot the hinge for the other side because I was kind of in a hurry to get here to cook, start breakfast. I was going to pick up um, my nephew who ended up being not feeling too well so um, I am missing two hinges for the other side. So I'm going to get this one working. I'll go back to town. I'll get the other two hinges come back out here and we'll put them on. Well, Jennifer left to go back and get the other two hinges um, that I forgot. So
so I figured what I would do while I was waiting on her is I would go ahead and mount this. help it keep everything together. Jennifer has got brought me two more hinges. She went and got those. We're going to put them on. While she was gone, look what I did. I whittled me out a little lock to go in there. Just drops in there and it hangs on the string. So whenever I get these doors fixed, I'll be able to Put that little latch on there and that'll keep them from them doors from coming open. A really cheap lock. So let's go ahead and finish these doors. Okie dokie. Let's see what happens. Let's unlock it. Open. I had a little wedge right here to hold them up just a little bit. Yeah, look at that. I'll have to take my grinder and grind those screws off right there because they were a little bit long. But yeah, look at that. Bam! I might have to get me something little things to go yeah that's pretty cool Okay, there we go. That's as far that way as I could go because of the thing that we put in here. Um, the wall to separate that from the barrel over there. Um, but I think that once I, it's going to shoot over here anyway. And then what I'll be able to do is just turn that a little bit, pick up the bucket, be able to take it and dispose of it and set it right back down in there. Uh, yeah, get one, it doesn't matter. This way or that way? This way. I'm making these one inch wooden dowels.
we have a set of four one inch pins. want to get these cut and put down there and then I'll probably have to cut some two by sixes I'm not sure if I've got any to build a box once I get this platform down and that's going to be it for a while on the kitchen That is going to be the base, um, and then what I like I said, I'll build a box up top here, 
and I'll fill it half with dirt and then the other half with sand. And that'll give me a nice smooth base to start with when I build the earth oven. So I'm about to get this little box built. And again, I'm just using scrap lumber and making do, making it work. That's the objective to save money and make it work. So, let's see. We can do put those boards back on top sure where my straight edge is. Well, what do you know, it was pretty darn close. Okay, we now have a wood box and we also have a platform to start the earth oven on. Make it look a little better. Well, so I'm getting ready to call it a day. Um, it rained two or three times and I had to bring the cameras in and it just didn't seem like that there was enough room to do a whole lot of anything. But I thought that before I left, I would show you what I was able to accomplish today. Uh, first of all, I did cut this hole uh, in the countertop right here for this bucket, which sits down in there just like that. That way I can pump some water from here there's a 30, 30 gallon barrel in there. I can pump some water and I can uh, 
warm it up and I can put it back in here and I can have something where I can wash my hands or I can wash some vegetables or uh, small dishes, cups, things like that. Then what I can do is this other container that I bought, I can take that water when I'm done, dump that into here and actually use the uh, use that for the much larger skillets and pots and things like that. Um, the cabinet actually turned out really nice and it's getting ready to rain again. Uh, but I fashioned just a little wooden peg to go down in, in there and hold that. But as you can see, I've got uh, two shelves where I can keep some odd and end things down in there and that's going to be really nice and handy um, and of course this little latch just goes across and then that runs down in there like that then i was able to begin on the earth oven i cut the post off i've got my platform built i built out a box in there where i can actually store and keep wood down in there where i can feed the fire uh, i have to cut up some that's much smaller Generally, when I've been coming out here, I'll go out in the, in the woods and find stuff and just break it up. But uh, I need to do something that's smaller than a campfire. Um, but anyway, yeah, this is going to be a really good start. And I've got one 2 by 8 over there, and I'm thinking about running it along the outside. I'm not sure if it will cover the four sides, but if it doesn't, I can always make uh, another one. But I'll go ahead and put, I do need to mill one more portion right there and then put the box around it and like I said earlier that will be it for the earth oven for a while um, but I did want to get these knocked down and I did want to get the base ready to go so that um, when I am or when I do have time I'll come up here and work on it um, anyway but that will also help keep this wood in here dry for me being able to cook because I've got the rocket stove I've got the the nice fire pit now I've got the countertop I've got access to water, um, I've got a cabinet, I've got a countertop, um, I've got a handrail, I've got a metal roof, so pretty much this outdoor kitchen will be done as soon as this earth oven is done. I think what I'll do before I go is mix me up a lemonade to drink on the way home. be nice. Well, guys, I'm glad that you had time to stop by and visit with us here at the outpost while we um, are busy building the homestead. As always, we greatly appreciate from the bottom of our heart y'all's support to our channel. We would have never thought that people would have enjoyed the way that they appear to be doing around the world um, what we're doing here in this little corner of East Tennessee. But, you know, like I said, we certainly do appreciate that. And, you know, this outdoor kitchen here, leave me some comments on what you think about it. Would you have done anything differently? Um, now, I'm not talking about building it because there's many more builders that <laughs> would have done a much better job. But I'm just saying, you know, is there anything else that you would have added or maybe something that I have forgotten um, that, you know, I could incorporate? Let me know what you think about this little outdoor kitchen. This is an um, idea that I had in mind years ago, uh, the other home that I built, but I never did get this started. And uh, so this was time for me to go ahead and put something like this together. And uh, on watching some YouTube, I incorporated a few things like that rocket stove over there. I added that from, uh, I got that idea from Sean James on My Self Reliance. I thought that that was, um, a neat aspect to add to a grill um, but I've always wanted an earth oven and I uh, always wanted you know a nice grill so putting those three together that's gonna make a great combination anyway we hope everyone has a great afternoon take care and we look forward to seeing you back up here at the outpost next time